Okay, hello, this is Jeff Rankin, in, and I'm going to describe how we update 2011 pack membership. Let's say Mark Anthony sent us a check for $20. First, I would scan down to see if he paid uh, last year or the year before. And here they are right here. They paid in 2010. I update the year 2011. I like to change the color uh, to this light blue, just to remind me if I need to do a sort. Looks like I need to change it to a dollar format, double check the address, if it's okay, then I can move on. Say I have a brand new member, I can click anywhere, click insert a new row, and put that information in, let's say, um, so they're paid 2011, let's say Spongebob Squarepants, want some electronic copy, etc. Can change that color to a lighter blue um, and I can just continue that way. Now what I like to do is sort by this column A so I can highlight everything that I've changed all the way up through here. I don't want to do my life members so I'm highlighting the rows. I click on data, I click on sort. I want to sort by column A and if I want the um, 2011 on top, I think I have to do Z to A. So if I do OK, that should put all the blues together. Here's uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. Um, so that puts the 2011s together. Now I can highlight the 2011 together and sort by last name. So that's column E. I click data, sort again, and the last name is uh, column E. And now I'm going to do A to Z, and that puts Mark Anthony where he should be, and SpongeBob SquarePants where um, he should be. And that's all there is to it. Now, when I'm Done updating. Sometimes I'll make a copy of this um, this tab here. Actually, sometimes I should have done that first. And you do move or copy, create a copy, and then just rename that, say, the, the July version. That way, you can always go backwards uh, if you need to. So you have the June every tab here. Then we'll have a, a tab, and if you want to go back, sometimes that's safe to do it that way. Other than that, that's pretty much all I do to update the membership.